Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Travel Free. In this video, I'm going to explain about IEEE 802.11 wireless LAN and its security in the subject of cryptography and network security. Okay, before that, let me tell you something. I started a new channel with study abroad content. I've already made 10 plus videos in that channel. So you can check out that channel also. I'll give you the link of the channel in the description for any study abroad content or study abroad doubts. You can check out that channel. So let's get into the video now. So it is a committee that has developed standards for WLAN. So what do you mean by WLAN? Wireless LAN. Okay. So why do we need wireless LANs and what are the uses, what are the benefits, disadvantages, everything is not our uh, point now. What is 802.1? Why 802.1 is being used particularly for wireless LAN and how to ensure its security. Got it? So and uh, yeah, it is a committee that has developed standards for wireless LANs and wireless LANs are slower than lands normal lands okay since they are wireless and also in case of wireless lands if they are moved out of range it will suffer from noise and error see for example uh, we use airpods right so my personal experience i'm telling you if i am in the room where my phone is my airpods will be good okay even the other room also okay but if i you know I, I put my phone on one end of my balcony and I walk to other end of my balcony. Na. What happens initially a disturbance will start and later after going to some more distance they'll completely get disconnected. So that is how wireless devices will work right any wireless device will work in the same way. So here also when it is moved out of range it suffers from noise and error got it. So this is the uh, features or the working or the functionalities of wireless LAN we can say. Now let us see uh, what is the 802.11 protocol stack and uh, the other things which are related to 802.1 okay yeah. Now let us see the protocol stack of 802.11 that is what are the different protocols involved and what are the different layers involved in the 802.11 architecture. The first layer is a physical layer, medium axis layer, MAC, medium axis control layer and the last is a logical link control. Okay. So now what we will see is we will see in each and every layer what are the functionalities that are being done and then what are the services and how to you know what we have to do in order to ensure the security got it so first in physical layer encoding or decoding of the signals will happen so in each and every layer in physical layer in medium access control layer in logical link control layer in, in all the layers you will have some functionalities right so in that in physical layer encoding or decoding of the signals that is converting the signals into binary or hexa whatever the in whichever language the system will understand it will convert that encoding and decoding of the signals will be done bit transmission or reception that is transmitting is nothing but you you, you know you will be sending or receiving so that uh, sending or receiving of the bits will happen and wireless signal encoding will happen and the frequency band definition will happen that is what is the frequency band like how much should be the frequency for how many seconds we need to send one byte like that so the frequency band definition also will be defined here got it now this is about the physical layer after physical layer what do we have we have medium axis control layer right mac layer this is in short also called as mac layer so in the mac layer what happens is the data is assembled into frames okay the data is assembled into frames and also error detection is also done error detection is nothing but if there are any errors we will be finding out those errors got it next comes the reliable data delivery that will it, it will ensure that the reliable data delivery and next wireless access control protocol so whatever wireless access control protocols are there all those protocols are defined and operated in the medium access control layer itself next comes the logical link control layer here it is very simple error control and flow control will be done error control in the sense controlling the errors and flow control in the sense controlling the flow which is nothing but from uh, where from this point to which point the data has to transfer or the bits have to transfer all that flow flow of data will be decided got it error control and flow control will be done in the logical link control okay now so uh, this 802.11 has two services it provides two set of services i'll tell you what are those two services that uh, um, provided by 802.11 so 
basically two right i said the basic services set which is bss and the extended services set which is ess got it so first of all uh, bss is nothing but the basic services set set and what it has is it has a stationary or a mobile wireless stations it it can have stationary or mobile wireless stations you know yeah you know what are stationary right fixed mobile is nothing but moving it can have wireless points wireless stations they could be either stationary that is fixed or they can be moving and a central base station also which is called as the access point okay i'll write it here access point ap now this stationary or mobile wireless stations whatever wireless stations are there all those wireless stations are connected to this access point got it right so this is the central access point central base station and it is called as the access point next so actually access point is optional it may have or it may not have even if there is no access point also there will be imaginary uh, connection there will be imaginary central base station between all the wireless stations which are present in the network got it and now after this we have the extended services set right so what do you mean by extended services set which is in short called as ess is nothing but it is created by joining joining two or more bss so by joining two or more bss you can get an extended services set in bss you will have one central access point and to that central access point all the other based um, you know wireless stations will be connected right but in case of ess two or more uh, base stations basic services set will be combined together that is you can have multiple number of access points also got it so this is all about the extended services set and one more thing i forgot to tell you in extended services set uh, you are combining base services set right so you can combine those bscs bss you can combine those bss which have the access point the like they have to compulsory have an access point if you have to combine them if they are not since i said here access point is not um, optional it is not mandatory so if there is any basic services set without the access point then those cannot be combined to form an extended services set that's all simple okay next comes the uh, wireless lan security so what can you do in order to ensure the security of wireless lans very simple first thing is authentication access control and privacy with message integrity so these three are nothing but what are to be done what are to be done in order to ensure the security so the first one is authentication authentication is nothing but you know already know what is authentication right if you are sending the message then if you want to send a message to your friend to your friend b then the message has to reach b only it has to be reach only b not to anybody in the between that is only authorized only certified user is supposed to receive the message and uh, certified person is supposed to send the message that is authentication next is access control we need to control the access to the users or whoever it is we need to control their access we need to control their permissions got it then only our data is secure and privacy with message integrity message integrity means what the message is not changed so how you are sending from this side the same the same thing will reach on to the opposite side also that is what message integrity right the message has to not change so we also have to ensure privacy with message integrity got it and these are what are to be done how all these are done again it is a very big topic um i am actually not making a video about that now but still uh, if you people want me to make i'll make it uh, just let me know in the comment section that uh, you can make a video about the techniques also then i'll just do it so that's all for this video let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic and if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe <laughs>